What's up guys, hope you're having an awesome day. So I have not done a shop tour of the new place we are at. I know some of you guys have been here for quite a while and you might recognize this place. This is Corey's shop. And we are back over here staying with Corey, renting a room for him. And it worked out great because he has a big shop with a ton of room. So got room for the extra projects. We're getting everything moved in. We're pretty much settled at this point. We have blackout sitting here. And then I just got done moving the K5 over here. We're gonna be working on that soon. That way I can get it wrapped up and it will be a finished project. There's quite a bit to do there still, so you'll have content on that coming here soon. Not sure where I'm gonna be starting on that. We'll figure that out later. But got my boxes over here at the mean at the moment. A couple of them are in storage as of right now, but we have the welding cart set up here. That way we'll be able to be doing welding projects. Brought the bandsaw over as well as the belt sander. And then he has his drill press here and a bench. And then I also brought my press and I got some welding stuff over there that is his as well as the air compressor. And back over here at the boxes, we have just one of the supply cabinets that I have. I've got everything kind of piled in these. I've got washers and bolts, hardware like that, and then stuff over here, air stuff, different things like that. Moved everything down to the two boxes. They're getting pretty packed with tools, kind of stuff scattered everywhere. And then I still have my roll around cart over here. Not sure if I'm gonna keep that here at the moment. It is kind of nice to have when you're working on the lift. You can roll that over there and have tools that you need. So that is kind of what we got going on there. And then up top we have this shelf that I've, I had at the old place. That is full of fluids and random other stuff. And then yeah, built kind of a two by four or a two by six set up here for all my batteries and chargers and then got a power bank down below. And yeah, kind of scattered all over, still moving in, getting stuff organized. But I think we are organized enough to start working on some projects. All right, moving on to the rest of the shop here. Got a shelf here full of Corey's stuff. These are both Corey's boxes as well as the roll around car. This is some of his dad's box boxes and stuff, engines, tires, wheels, stuff, kind of stuff over here. Corey Chevelle, some of you guys keep commenting on this thing. Drop a comment down below if you want to see him post some videos on this thing when he is working on it. He's gonna be starting on it here soon. As soon as he gets some parts, they're kind of trickling in. Sadly, due to all the stuff going on right now, it's hard to get parts in. So that's been a battle for him, waiting on stuff for that. But yeah, anyways, drop a comment down below if you want to see him post some videos on this thing. It's going to be pretty sweet. Over here we have the rack that I had at my place, kind of full of all of my parts that are for the K5 as well as Blackout. So hopefully we'll get that taken care of soon, get some of that stuff off here. Another rack over here full of Corey stuff. Got a car flipper in here. He's planning on putting the Chevelle on the car flipper so he can do all the body work and stuff related with that. That'll make it really nice. Got a pretty nice bench over there for when you're working on stuff on the lift here. Uh, yeah, kind of a seating area. We do need to redo the stove. I think Corey was wanting to start on that here soon before the winter rolls in. He wants to change it to the bigger barrel and get rid of the double barrel stove. So yeah, that's kind of the shop so far. There's quite a bit of stuff scattered everywhere. We need to do some cleaning. As you can see here, it is white and there is a frame still for when the K5 was getting painted. Have that kind of draped with plastic that went up and around the car lift. That seemed to work very well for painting and then just had the door propped up with some fans. I think it worked pretty well. There wasn't overspray on anything else except for this area. And yeah, side note, definitely make sure you move your vehicles further away than what you think so you don't get overspray on them. Because now I have overspray on the Duramax and the first gen. So at some point, I'm gonna have to get that removed. Anyways, that is pretty much the full shop tour. Kind of show you guys what all we have going on in here and the layout. I think we should have plenty of room over here on the side to work on the projects that I have going on. And then I think Corey's gonna be tearing apart the Chevelle back here in between this area, as well as using the lift for separating that stuff. But hopefully we can keep the lift open for small stuff that we need to work on, whether it's broken parts or oil changes. That would be nice. I think this is gonna work out good. We got tons of room. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Make sure you drop a like down below and a comment if you wanna see Corey post some videos on this thing. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.